this baby, you're giving blunt. First of all. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, and hey, girl, hey, if you have been here before. So, this video is a little bit different. I'm really gonna just spend time talking to you guys because. I took you all through the process of how I apply my lace front wigs. This is just me originally trying it on. I wanted to try it on the night before I decided to put it on just to see what it looked like and to make sure that I liked it. And as you all can probably tell by my face, I was definitely feeling it. I like this wig even like it's kind of like when you put the wig on at first you'll know if you like it or not because some wigs I get I put them things on and I'm like okay yeah nah this might not be it but it absolutely was so for whatever reason I'm not exactly sure why the video or the picture looks like this um I'm not sure if it's like moving in slow motion. It kind of looks a little bit weird on my end, but I had already done the clips, child. I had already recorded the videos and I was not going back. We are just going to continue to move forward and we are going to learn why we do it. So I'm braiding my locks back so that I can put my wig cap on and then I just kind of pin them up so that they're out of the way you know you just kind of want to make sure that the foundation is a little flat okay so then I'm going and I am putting on my wig cap so for the people who actually do hair please don't come for me okay this I don't do hair okay I'm not a hairstylist um, I just do my hair you know and I do the best that I can with what I got okay so I attempted okay this is my way of doing my hair because <laughs> y'all sometimes get in them comments and be tearing folks to shreds okay but i attempted to do the quote-unquote ball cap method and i typically don't do this because i take my wigs on and off or i just put a little bit of lace glue on the front and then it holds for whatever occasion i'm doing but this time it's been very hot and i had plans to be outside this weekend okay so i wanted to um do the ball cap method because i wanted it to you know be a little bit more secure than it typically is so i did what i did i said what i said okay so now what i'm doing here is i am taking some tint lace and this comes in a variety of colors um i don't remember which color this was but it comes in a variety of colors i got it from sally's you can also get it too this is the wig glue that i used um i get this from the beauty supply store this is actually my favorite one um to use on my wigs i've also tried another one i think it's oh it's called bold hold as well i've used that one too now we're just blow drying it um, and I kind of took y'all through the process. I kind of cut and edited a lot of stuff out because I'm like, I was looking at my video, like, would this be something that I want to see? Like, do I need to see all of this? Or can you just kind of give us the basics? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. So we did do a lot of nipping and a lot of tucking in here. So now you just see me putting my lace down or laying my lace down so that it is um, secure hell so <laughs> so now i'm blow drying it this wig did come with baby hairs as well and this is what it looks like i have an unboxing and i also have a final review attached to this video as well so if you are interested in that then definitely keep watching i did pluck a little from my um from the part as well um just to open it up a little bit more make it look a little bit more realistic so I did that and I'm just kind of putting the baby hairs down again. I used the baby. So I didn't create any baby hairs. I pretty much used the ones that already came with the wig. And yeah, this color is beautiful. This color turned out to be so pretty. I am really like blonde. Blonde is my color. Blonde. This is going to be my color. I'm laughing. Clearly I was on the phone. Yes, I was on the talking on the phone. Um, now you see me just laying the extra baby hairs down because I did typically in my videos I only glue 
the front part but this time i glued it all the way around because i didn't know if i wanted to pull some of my hair back i didn't know if i was gonna wear it down all the whole time so i wanted to be able to lay it down on the sides just in case i decided to put it up so my final thoughts on this wig go get her go get her i love the texture i love the thickness it is not thin this is all the hair to the front she the texture is like that of not nisha we know nisha is, is is really thick um there was a wig that is on my channel now and the texture is like that i am obsessed okay i literally when i got done with my hair because i did my hair last night y'all were with me i was like i'm about to go order another one because this one is gonna be sold out by the time this one wears out so i was like i'm gonna go get another one and watch me get on there and they don't have the same color but this baby you're giving blunt first of all and then i've ordered some dupes from amazon the girls who get it get it the girls who don't don't which i'm i almost don't but look y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing you you almost can't tell me anything already so you're really not going to be able to tell me anything. But yes, I absolutely love this wig. I give this wig all of the kudos. I definitely would order this wig. Um, even in a different color. Even if you're not, if you're not into blonde hair, if you just want black hair, I this would be a go-to wig. It was very easy to style, quick to throw on. I did glue it down, as you all saw. Um, that was the process wasn't that difficult at all. I kind of did my own thing. I'm not, you know, I do the ball cap method at sometimes, but not all the time. We are, honey. <laughs> all right, and that's it. That's it, you guys. If you all like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Make sure you subscribe for more wig videos. If there is a wig that you're interested in purchasing and you're not exactly sure what it's going to look like, drop it down below. I may not purchase it and review it, However, I can definitely tell you if it's worth it or not. I mean, because I'm just the wig girl, okay? I'm, I'm the wig girl. As you, I got just wigs everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. So well, I'll go, my glitter babes. Until next time, talk soon. Deuces. Okay, so the wig unboxing that I was telling you all about, here we are. This wig is by Outre and it is called Avalon. I am going to link um where i purchased the wig and the bottom because i ordered it off of amazon as you all know typically i do wig types.com but i needed it sooner than later um so yeah the hair is very soft it's full they put these little rollers in it to help keep the curl i hung it up overnight i tried to put the rollers back in but the giant it didn't work um this is the parting space it does come with baby hairs as well and I'm showing you all the clips. I'm showing you all how I'm taking it out. What I this I mean, when I tell you this wig was packaged up. This this was packaged up. They had the everything and, and it, it it was secure. Okay. Um I did put a little hole in the lace when I was pulling the thing apart, but that doesn't matter because I'm cutting it off. I'm cutting it off anyway. So that doesn't even matter. But I am showing you all what it looks like. It's very flowy and bouncy and yeah. Don't you understand? Your love is a one in a million. It goes on.